What's going on guys? Thanks for tuning into the channel. Hope you like the intro. I'm trying to uh, mess around with this little iPhone gimbal that I have now. So let me know if you're like that. But I'm trying as hard as I can to get to Daytona. I want to be down there. I want to represent these companies. I have companies that want me in their booth. You know, I want to go down there. It's a great time. It's an awesome content opportunity uh, to be able to film and everything for YouTube. So I want to get down there. But it all relies on one thing. That's if my wheels come in the week before Daytona. I was told they'd come in. I was told. So I went ahead and I scheduled uh, with Texas Customs to... Uh, I scheduled to have my truck lifted. And I think regardless, if the wheels come in or not, I'm just going to go ahead and lift my truck. And then I will wait until the wheels come in and put them on there. So if the wheels don't come in for another two, three, four weeks, then, I mean, I'm shit out of luck and without a truck for a little bit, which sucks. But, I mean... That's the risk I'm taking to try to make this work because I want to make it down to Daytona. So I'm waiting on the wheels. The wheels are literally the biggest, the biggest thing right now because if the wheels come in, lift the truck, go to Daytona, bam, it's amazing. Truck's lifted, y'all get to see it, I get to see it, amazing, bam. That's perfect scenario, right? Like I said, worst case, wheels don't come in. I'm out of a truck for a while because it's lifted and I don't have any other wheels or tires to run on it besides just the stock ones and I'm not gonna do that <sighs> next my bumpers are coming in my grill is being made my shell is being made my train horns are about to get painted I mean I have so much coming I'm sorry that I haven't been able to put out the content that I want to I have so much coming that I'm just sitting here waiting on and just waiting and waiting and it's killing me it's killing me I want to put out some content I want to entertain y'all I want to take y'all on this journey of building this truck but right now all I've been doing is driving it literally it's all I've been doing to this truck is driving it I'm driving it everywhere Austin Dallas Houston San Antonio a little bit of everywhere doing tons of things Abilene hunting you know going and visiting friends and all that but I want to do it in style and the style comes once it gets lifted as you know so this video was just a, a quick update. This video is maybe going to be five minutes long. It's a quick update to let y'all know what I'm waiting on. I'm waiting on my wheels. I'm trying to get some of this stuff done. I, it's not that I don't want some things before I get the truck lifted, but I'd rather put some things on after the truck's lifted because if the truck's lifted with the shell, it looks a lot better than like a stock truck with the shell. I don't know. That's just my opinion on it. You know, like things like that. You know, like I just want to have something, this one thing done before I do something else. So, things to look forward to. Hopefully, me being down in Daytona, uh, that that all that's all dependent on the wheels. If the wheels come in, we'll be there. And if the wheels don't come in, I won't. It sucks, but like I said, that's just the game I'm playing right now. Uh, the bumpers are coming in. The bumpers are gonna come in raw, so you'll get to see them in their raw form. Got to take them, get them powder coated, painted, whatever I'm gonna do. And then train horns will be installed. I'll have a grill soon enough. Uh, I got a company working on some uh, tails and a third brake light for me. So the truck's going to be a completely different truck here in a month or two. So I just want y'all to stay tuned. Thank y'all for uh, tuning into this video. This is just a quick, quick update because I don't think y'all understand the sort of like perfectness that has to happen for me to get to Daytona. And I want to I wanna go down there, but if I can't take my truck, I'm just not going to go. So I was just sort of updating y'all, letting y'all know the predicament I'm in, waiting on these wheels. If the wheels come in, I'll be there. If they don't, I'm not. I'm sorry. It sucks. But my truck's just going to be sitting around, lifted, waiting for the wheels. But thanks for watching this video. If you're as excited as me for the truck to get lifted, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. You can like, comment, do whatever you want. Leave a comment down below. I mean, you already know what the wheels are going to look like, but let me know what you think the truck's going to look like. A lot of people are hating on it. A lot of my friends are like, dude, get 24 by 14s. Like, I don't need bro wheels, you know what I'm saying? I'm not here to appease anybody else. This truck's built for me and me only, and this is how I want to build it. So if y'all like that, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Leave, leave some comments down below. I don't know if y'all can see that. It's one of my company's Hogaholics, rocking the Hogaholics hat. Y'all can go check them out. You can check out all Chevy Off-Roading apparel, Chevy Off-Roading hats. The links will be down below. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.